My name is Lauren Sung, and today I'm here with Cassidy Chai, co-president of the Girl Up Club, to discuss how monumental the past year has been for women. Thank you, Cassidy, so much for um, taking the time out of your day to do this interview. We greatly appreciate it. No problem. All right. So let's hop right into it. So in your opinion, what were some of the most inspiring moments for women last year? Uh, well, last year I had a whole bunch of great moments for women. Uh, however, things were kind of uh, put aside due to the pandemic, but um, a lot of countries legalized abortion, which was very nice. With um, Kamala Harris as the new VP for the new administration, it is definitely uh, a great thing and so what were some of the what were some of the setbacks as well because you know it, it has been it has been an amazing year for in terms of progress for women's rights and women's health but i have also known that there have been some setbacks as well uh yeah there's been definitely a lot of setbacks as i said before with the whole uh pandemic thing a lot of things were hindered in terms of policies uh many states this or last year tried to do abortion bans and that wasn't very good for a lot of people however i think i think it was announced today actually that um there was a win for planned parenthood for the texas abortion ban which is amazing because planned parenthood offers a lot of amazing uh services for people and i'm pretty sure we were uh you may have already answered this but um how far has women's health come in 2020 Women's health has come a long way, I personally think. Um, despite the whole abortion ban thing, a lot of things did happen in 2020. Uh, I know Great Britain uh, repealed, like they took away all their pink tax and on um, the tax, the extra tax on their sanitary products. So I that was one of the biggest things, one of the biggest things of last year because the pink tax has been a thing for so long and many people questioned why. So. Britain getting rid of it was a huge mon monumental thing. Do the events of 2020 point to a trend of progress or backtracking in terms of feminism and female health? I feel like with 2021 that there will definitely be um, progress for, fem fem for the feminist movement and for feminine health just because with the new administration there's already been a lot of things or policies and things that have already contributed to uh, it moving forward, such as the uh, ban, such as the repealment, repealment of the ban on transgender troops serving in the military. That was a huge thing that already happened and it's only January. So hopefully we, it's only up from here. Uh, speaking of the new administration that, especially an administration that has many females in high positions, uh, what objectives do you hope will be pursued by the government? over the next four years? I think that there's a lot of things that the government can do to help the whole feminist movement. Uh, however, I think a lot of issues lie in society. So policies and such can definitely help with that. However, I think that it's mainly a societal issue in terms for uh, American policies. In many other countries, however, I think that there are definitely a lot of policies that should be taken, put into place concerning like sexual assault, uh, abortions, etc. And a lot of countries have already taken that step forward. And I just hope for in the future, more countries do so. All right. All right. Uh, so what is Girl Up doing during these times to further uh, women's empowerment? So Girl Up currently is doing entirely virtual club meetings. We hope that uh, through our meetings, we're able to create a safe community where we're able to discuss these kinds of issues. And as an officer team, we hope to educate, empower, and advocate for female rights and such, and just do whatever we can in this setting to help the community. That That is incredible. I think that's an incredible thing that y'all are doing at Girl Up, especially for this community. Um, so on a more personal level, what does feminism mean to you? I feel like being a feminist nowadays, you have to be inclusive with everything that you do. Just because 
with like the fourth wave of fem feminism, which we're currently in, like the feminist movement gets a lot of hate because people either think it's too radical or it's pushing for too much. It, it, it there's a lot of false narratives concerning the feminist uh, movement, I guess. So I feel like for me, being a feminist means that you have to be inclusive with everything that you do and try to look at things from as many point of views as possible. Are you personally hopeful for the new future, for the near future? In concerns with the feminist movement for the near future, I am hopeful with so many more of female people in higher positions. I think that there will definitely be progress for the movement. And that's all the time we have. APN is an ardent supporter of gender equality and women's rights and will continue to highlight these issues on its platforms. This has been Lawrence, back to the anchors.